Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 21 of our Be Creative Challenge. And I wanted to talk to you about something a little bit different today. I wanted to talk to you about film. Because we all have an old film camera at home, and maybe it's time to bust that sucker out and try it. And I want to talk to you about two very special cameras that changed my photographic life. So the first one is a Hasselblad 500CM. Now this isn't the one I actually owned, but back in the day this was my first high quality camera. What did this camera teach me? Number one, to slow down and be patient. It's a film camera. It has no light meter in it. So as a photographer, I had to do one of two things. Either carry a handheld light meter, or I needed to learn to see the light. And the other thing that this camera taught me, it's a square format. And it was like the precursor of Instagram being a square. And thanks to Ernst as his lessons with me, I learned to be a square shooter. I used the Hasselblad to frame my image squarely. And one of the cool things about this camera is you shoot it from the waist level. So you don't look right through it. You don't see the detail. You focus here, but then you shoot here. So you see the composition better. And the composition is reversed. So it gives you a different view, causes you to think differently. I'm gonna take my Hasselblad out this afternoon and shoot it, and, you, and you'll get to see the pictures in a couple days. The other camera I wanted to talk to you about is a Leica M6. Now this is actually the M6 that I use. I've had this camera since the mid 1980s. What did this camera teach me? To use your imagination. Because it's a rangefinder camera. It's not a single lens reflex. So what that means is that when I change the lens, it just changes the size of the box. So you don't get to see the expansion of a wide angle or the compression of a telephoto. That you have to learn to see. And using your imagination, using my imagination was important to my photography and how I learned to be a better photographer. Grab your old film camera, and whether it's the camera you had in high school or your mom and dad's camera, let's take the film cameras out and bust them up. Yes, at Paul's Photo, we still develop the film. And if you want to give it a try, how about some Fuji 200, three packs, 12 or 13 bucks? Very reasonable to bust your old 35 millimeter camera out. For the Hasselblad, I need medium format. Color or black and white 120 size, my two favorite films these days. For color, the Kodak Portra 400. I really like the color palette, I like the richness of it, I like the softness of it, I love the fine grain of the 400 ISO, and this comes in both 35 millimeter or 120 size. And for black and white, you guys know I love black and white, and my favorite black and white film for years has been Ilford XP2. Why do I love this? Whoops, it's a 400 speed film, 400 speed film so I can shoot in all kinds of lighting conditions but it's easy to process. I don't have to process it myself at home. I can take this into the lab at Paul's Photo and they can develop it for me, but I, what I really love about it is the tone and the clarity and the softness, just that gradation. It's not a harsh, crisp film. It has this fine gradation and these beautiful textures. I love the XP2, 400 ISO, great film. So once again, my favorite films, Ilford XP2 for black and white, the Kodak Portra 400 for color, I challenge you to bust out your film camera. Try it. Give it a shot. Take it around the neighborhood. Take it for a walk. Take it on a bike ride. And let's see some beautiful film pictures. I'm going to put a roll of XP2 in the Hasselblad in a few minutes, and we're going to go out and make some pictures. So our Be Creative Challenge right now is try your film camera. I know Pepe is really going to like that because he does his film camera every day. I want you to try it. Get out. Have some fun and we'll get your pictures scanned, and then we'll post them on hashtag Paul's Photo, hashtag Creative Photo Academy, and hashtag we're all together. Because we're all in this together. And together, our creativity, our expression, our community will help us survive, and we will thrive, and we're gonna come back better and bigger and badder, and better photographers for, for all this, for all the time we've spent together. Mark Homan from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, Bust out the film, have some fun, be creative, and we'll make some great pictures and we'll do it together. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.